These are the 1982 GMC RTSs. The second GMC RTS is of New York City Transit. Now their fleet numbers range from 1659 to 1858. While the map store fleet numbers range from 2580 to 2704. Now, without further ado, let's hit the list of depots that receive New York City Transit second fleet of GMC RTSs. Here we go. So 1659 to 1699 were delivered to, believe it or not, they were delivered to 126th Street Depot, which was closed in 2015, while 1700 to 1704 were delivered to 126th Street Depot as well, while 1705 to 1749 were delivered to Flushing Depot, present-day Casey Stangle Depot. 1750 to 1759 were delivered to Jamaica Depot, while 1758 to 1767 were delivered to Queens Village Depot. 1768 to 1799 were delivered to Fifth Avenue Depot, present-day Jackie Gleason Depot, while 1800 to 1852 were delivered to Omer Park Depot. 1853 to 1858 were delivered to Kingsbridge Depot, while 2580 to 2644 were delivered to Coliseum Depot, which is now the present site of the present-day West Farms Depot, while 2645 to 2654 delivered to 100th Street Depot, present-day Tuskegee Airmen Depot. Well, last but not least, 2655 to 2704 were delivered to 54th Street Depot, which was closed in 1992 and demolished between 1995 and 97. So these GMC RTSs, unlike the T8W204 RTSs from 1981, these RTSs were T8J204 RTSs, and these RTSs signified the use of the Detroit Diesel 6V92 engine which sounds like this. Seventeen seventeen to seventeen twenty one were delivered with six V seven one engines, just like their older sisters from nineteen eighty one. However, they were converted to six V nine two engines shortly afterwards. Please keep in mind to those who don't know, the six V nine two engine became the standard engine for New York City Transit up until the mid nineties. Also, before I forget, seventeen thirty four to eighteen fifty eight were equipped with two by two four facing express seats and were used for express routes in and out of Manhattan. That was until the MCIs came around, which I'll be reviewing in the near future. So stay tuned. So these RTSs were a hell of a lot better than the GMC RTSs from 1981. And to boot, there were hardly any complaints from the public or drivers. Though there were some nitpicks here and there, but still, these RTSs were a lot better and were chunked with new and improved features, such as the rear doors being easier to open, the windows weren't as dark, and these were also the first RTSs to be delivered with openable windows. And of course, these were powered by the 6V92 engine, which was a lot more powerful than the 6V71 engine. And these performed a lot better on hills compared to the 1981 GMC RTSs. These RTSs lasted a lot longer than the RTS from 1981, as they ran until early 2003. And I still remember seeing a good number of these running well into the early 2000s, roughly. Oh, and before I forget, some of these RTSs were later sent to Academy Lines in Hoboken, New Jersey, and to Fort Worth, Texas sometime in the mid to late 90s. And I have a lot of memories of seeing these running under Academy between the late 90s and early 2000s. And I remember I was like, Holy shit! And I remember always being on the lookout for them whenever my parents and I went to New Jersey, even in lower Manhattan on rare occasions. But in the end, these RTSs ran great and served New York City Transit very well. Like, wait, there's more. Like some of the 1981 GMC RTSs, 
1996, a good number of these RTSs were remanufactured and renumbered, with the 7,000s being remanufactured by New York City Transit and the 7,500s being remanufactured by Midwest Bus Corporation in Wisconsin. And though these RTSs still signified the use of the Detroit Diesel 6V92 engine, they were also updated with the Allison V730 transmission and had a pretty quick acceleration. Here it is. I'll tell you what, those remanufactured GMC RTSs were the bomb and were not to be taken lightly. And I have so many memories of riding those along with the non-remanufactured GMC RTSs as well. It is sad to know that these RTSs are now retired, but the RTS legacy will never ever die. And before I forget, 1848 was given to hospital audiences and lasted until roughly 2009. So as for the 1982 GMC RTSs, they're gone but definitely not forgotten, as 2589 and 2628 survive as movie prop buses under their remanufactured fleet numbers 7030 and 7018. So with that being said, this is Kalel saying stay safe, stay well, happy Easter, and of course thanking you guys for watching, and long live the RTSs.